Hey guys, this is Simon. Today I got two guests over here, Randy and Mike. Hello guys. They have shown you my video before, so if you haven't checked our video, go check them out. Today I want to talk a little bit about self-censorship. Now, as you guys all know, a lot of international websites are banned in China, such as YouTube, Twitter. So if you want to access those websites in China, then you still need to use a VPN to circumvent the great firewall, right? And those websites usually give you a much higher degree of freedom. Right. But if you live in China, it doesn't mean you can talk whatever you want. A lot of people actually ask me uh, underneath my video like, Hey Simon, don't you feel worried when you talk about those topics? Actually, to be honest with you guys, yeah, sometimes I got worried. And if you ask me, do I self-censor myself? Of course, I do. And I think most of the YouTubers here, they will have a certain degree of self-censorship. So just a quick question to Mike and Randy. Do you guys do self-censorship when you make videos in China? Randy, you want to take lead here? So yeah, I have to definitely self-censor. Mm -hmm. I can give you an example. When you don't self-censor, something happened to me like a year ago. Because I talk about a lot of controversial things, I was at my job. I filmed part of my job and then the name came up. Somebody who didn't agree with my, you know, my rhetoric or my ideology concerning China, concerning my place in China. They called the police. Uh, they went to the school. The school was a government school. So like, you can't criticize China. You're fired. Then I noticed I have to self-censor. What's the specific reason that they reported upon to the government? Actually, it's very coincidental because you work in Sweden. It was about a, it was a Swedish video about a, a couple who went to a hotel, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then they got into trouble inside the hotel oh, in Sweden. Oh, the hotel kicked them out, right? Yeah, and I oh. did, and I did a video on that. Oh, yeah. okay. But oh, it doesn't have anything to do with China, right? Well, okay. I was just saying the couple the couple needed to pay in order to stay there. So that, that's what I was saying. They came to the hotel in the middle night and they book a room like the day after. So they want to right. stay overnight over there. Mm -hmm. Right. And yeah. when the, the staff in the hotel ask them to uh, like find another hotel, actually it's an easy job, like just find the booking.com mm -hmm. and book another room. Right. And mm -hmm. then you can just go out. Right, correct. Yeah. But instead of doing this, they are like uh, set up every set up a, a mattress or something in the lobby. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so it was just like, so I, I kind of like talked about that yeah. and I was like, well, you know, you showed up a night before the booking. So of course Correct. they're going to tell you, yeah. like, you got to leave. You can't be making noise in the lobby, right? Yeah, right. That's right. Yeah. And so I talked about this and then I, I did say like, it's a killing because I just, because <laughs> that's what the guy said. Yeah. And oh, maybe the mocking things. So yeah, because he, he was like, it's a killing and whatever. So okay. I said that, uh, they got pissed off. I got fired, I realized I have to self-censor myself. I see. Okay, from my point of view, actually like self-censorship is everywhere in this country. I mean, from the internet, you cannot uh, say like certain stuff, some certain words like, I mean like cursing people, maybe it's not good. Mm -hmm. But do you know like, uh, it's, it's like a- Oh yeah, grass, horse, mud. Yeah, grass, grass horse, mud. mud. Uh -huh. yeah. So that's, that's a transformed version uh, F words, right? Right, yeah. yeah. But you know, back to the day, because uh, you can actually you can type anything on the internet. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, like those censorships come. Even you grass, mud, horse, you can't say. Yeah, that's right. So it is some kind of uh, like uh, censorship to stop people saying a certain words. But, th but then it's ex extended to like other stuff. Mm -hmm. Now you get less and less uh, vocab that you can type on the Chinese. Oh, it's like it's like newspeak. Yeah. You know, Newspeak? Newspeak is a, it's a language that was created by okay. George yeah. Orwell okay. mm -hmm. and in 1984. Uh, the book. And, and the Animal right. Farm. And Animal Farm are two of my favorite books. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can't go further than that. Yeah. But yeah, it's like when, when someone starts to censor your speech or change words, changing the meanings of words, mm -hmm. then you cannot express yourself. I think the United States has this now, we have this problem, mm -hmm. where it's basically, if I say this is a female and this is a male, yeah, you're going to have trouble. Yeah, You know, uh, it's going to be like, 
How can you assume I'm a female? <laughs> yeah, so I, you, I understand. Yeah, so you just yeah. change the language. At this moment, blacks, Jewish people, and women, mm -hmm. and gays, mm -hmm. or homosexuals, should I say, if I say LGBT gays, or, yeah. 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 Uh, exactly, so you yeah. gotta say the right exact words. Yeah. Uh, if these are protected class, mm -hmm. so even if I criticize, like if I dare to criticize my culture, Mm -hmm. uh, I would be attacked it's, okay. because it's, it's it's built within the culture, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I mean, like in so, the in the U.S., because of political correctness, you also to a certain degree you have to self censor yourself, right? Right. If but I think like the political correctness in the West and the political correctness in the in China is totally different. The political correctness in the West, to a certain degree, they protect the weak group, right? Mm -hmm. LGBT or like a black community well, or those well, minority community. Well, the, perceived, the perceived, the mm -hmm. perceived, yeah, it's a perceived yeah. weak group. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Correct. But in China, I think the political correctness is not designed to protect the people from the bottom. It is protect the people from the top. Like in China, you can say whatever you want to a certain to racial group, or if uh, she's a female, you can. Uh, mock her like she's a Infinite. female driver, right? right? That's no issue. People will say, okay, you can mock them, but you cannot people mock people on the top. That's a big no-no, right? Yeah. So right. I think that's that's the difference. Yeah, if you cannot criticize, then there cannot be room for improvement. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Correct. Right? Yeah. How can you improve if no one's telling you what's wrong? Let's just move on to the second question. Mm. So I just mentioned like, most of the video makers in China will have experienced a certain degree of self-censorship, right? But the second question is that do you have any idea or a any exact clue like where that fine line is? You know we are like working on a pretty fine line, right? Do you have any idea like what you can say on the video and what you definitely cannot okay. say I mean, in the video? We can definitely not say certain things Maybe you can beep it up, like, <coughs> like, <coughs> and oh, definitely I will put that <laughs> in the video. Yeah, and <coughs> and, <coughs> and <coughs> yeah, a lot of things yeah. like very negative and. Uh, Let me put it, the question in another format. Like, how do you know a certain thing can be discussable in your video and a certain thing you don't? How do you like? find out I the know. Crew, you I, know? I mean, to there's no written law, right? There's no written law which says, hey, you can talk if about this. If the mob comes after you. Because when I talked about that Swedish thing, I, did, I just thought it was any kind of story. Okay. You know what I mean? Because okay. I'm usually talking about these types of stories. And then when it, the, it became famous online, mm -hmm. so I, I got like, like uh, four or five thousand views. Yeah. So and that's and then you get all, all these downvotes. So I think uh, yeah. for me, I I know what I can say and what I can't say as well. But uh, I'm trying to like generalize the issue, right? Not point to a certain person or certain group. So how do we figure out the boundary? We haven't talked about that. Like, do we know it from the news or do we know it from no. the book? Or you kind of figure you out know, by yourself. You know by the, the reaction you get sometimes. You got kind of like a spidey sense. It's very hard. You, yeah. I think uh, yeah. for myself, it's I'm just area. trying to upload yeah. certain videos, see what is going to be happen okay. to me. I mean, uh, if I put some uh, video about someone, maybe I got a lot of downloads mm -hmm. and uh, those like nasty Wumao accounts show up. Mm -hmm. It's not like a, a rational debate to a certain issue. It's yes. just like curse your mother right. and a lot of F words to you. And then, you. then probably I will think about the topic if I should do it once again or not. Okay. Right. But uh, I'm not like scared of those guys. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't fear like uh, if you can you will attack me uh, in reality or something. Yeah. I don't I'm, I don't care. Okay. But I do care is like maybe my family and uh, right, yeah. right. That's I saw a video about Sun Yang, like I shared it to you, like uh, those uh, Confucianists, like uh, smash the glasses mm -hmm. and put them in a bag and flee to uh, uh, Mo Mo uh, home and their parents' home actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, 
pull those uh, smashed glasses into the swimming pool. I see. Okay. And uh, those Confucianists like uh, constantly uh, harass and threaten uh, uh, Houghton's uh, family for almost four years. Just for an idea. Just, just, just for disagreement. Yeah, disagreement. And uh, Houghton said that Sun Yang used the drug to win the, the champion. So people also ask me this question all the time. Hey Simon, how do you figure out the boundary, right? How do you figure out what you can put inside your video and what you definitely can't even mention inside your video? So my take from this is that kind of based on my uh, past experience, and sometimes I don't even know if I should mention certain things in my video. Then I would just go look around, see if anyone else have done a similar thing. And mm. if they are fine, then maybe for me, should be fine as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we have like Chinese social media Weibo, right? It's like the Chinese version of Twitter. I would never put much time. <laughs> anyway, so sometimes I want to talk a certain topic. Yeah. Then I would just go to Weibo and see if people have talked about that and see mm -hmm. if they are fine. So if they are fine, maybe I should also be fine for like putting those videos on YouTube. So that's my rule of thumb. So yeah. I don't have that luxury. So it's just <laughs> like, um, it's just kind of hard because the lines always change. It's like a gray area. There's yeah. like VPN, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like you could use VPN, but it's kind of illegal in China. Mm. But all, even foreign companies use it. But it's still illegal. You, if you caught selling VPN, yes. you can go to jail. Yeah. But if you're using it, it's not really a crime. But you can't download it from the app store. Like, mm -hmm. so it's like all of these contradictions. And Correct. So it's hard to like. Well, is it illegal or not? Yes, we don't know like where yeah. th exactly the line lies. And right? that's where the power lies. Like, if you. Even if you, if you read 1984, man, George, George Orwell, you know, they let him go at the end and he's like, listen, you could probably live to 10 years mm -hmm. or tomorrow, we, we can get you at any time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's no, so how do you know if, when they're coming? Mm -hmm. You don't know, so that's where the power lies. If they're not giving you a definite answer mm -hmm. of if this is good, if this is not. We only know some definite answers. You can't talk about yeah. the big T. You can't talk about the other big T. You can't talk about the big H, right? So these things trip off wires, I don't know, uh, especially in some place like Weishin, okay. right? Where I don't talk about these things in Weishin because... Mm -hmm. I mean, I think you know. um, Chinese social media, to a certain way, it's easier for us to identify what we can put or not because once they because already erase it thing, yeah, yeah, they, they want to erase the thing but on YouTube you have a degree of freedom which you probably shouldn't have for people who actually want to live in mainland China peacefully yeah, let, right? me, but let me add on something uh, correct. Please. Uh, on YouTube you, you just put, like put, upload your videos directly and they show up in Chinese uh, social media like those video uh, video platform yeah then you upload a, a video, then those companies do a self-censorship for you. Oh, they, yes. they, they will review your video and see what went wrong and maybe some, some graphical things show up and they, they will, yeah. they will like, stop you to, uh, to show it up. I got one example, like uh, last time I was mm -hmm. uploading a travel video, totally mm -hmm. clean. Mm -hmm. There was three statues um, of male mm -hmm. was uh, like cut uh, like naked. Ma of who? Statue. Statue. Of who? Uh, uh, some ancient guy, I guess. It, I think it's just like a, a guy, guy lift a hammer to smash something okay. on the ground. Okay. But uh, her like certain body parties show up in the video, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's not like a very uh, pictureful things. And yes. uh, then my video got down because they told me like certain uh, part of my, uh, my video isn't allowed. But they, they didn't tell me like what? why. What? why did I have to figure it out. Like I was thinking about if I mentioned the price of uh, the hotel, maybe it's a commercial thing they don't want to see. Then I 
re-uploaded by reduce that song. Okay. But they they banned me again. Okay. <laughs> then I have to look like all their regulations. Then I found that oh fuck, they just don't want to show a naked male show in the body part. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that's, <a> bit. <laughs> that's crazy. So for Total, if you know Total. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes almost like a day or half a day mm -hmm. for the review of your video. For wow. Billy, for Billy Billy, it's it's very you know. Sometimes when the traffic, or I mean the amount of the, the uploading videos, yes. if it's low, they will show up. Now it is like green or something. Mm -hmm. But if it's like a lot of people uploading video, it shows up red for review. I see. So, so it can last. One of my last video, which is about uh, Santosia, it's an uh, animation thing. Uh, it's got like one day more to show up on the platform. So Jeez. Yeah. yeah. So okay. that's that's the reality. I mean. Okay. So the next question is: Do you feel pressure when you make videos on YouTube? Like Mike just mentioned that you sometimes got worried, right? Yeah. Yeah. You want to talk a little bit more about that? Because of that, uh, I don't want to. Before, like in the initially, I didn't want to touch those sensitive things. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't. I didn't want to touch those uh, like political uh, topics. So I, I choose to do like travel videos. Mm -hmm. Just show up like nice food, beautiful sceneries. But you really. Uh, I just. Do you feel the pressure? Yeah, of, of course. Like, do you get look, nervous I'm, sometimes when you post a video on the internet? Uh yeah, I do. But I, you know, I want to talk about. I rather talk about games and yeah. and food in China and those other kinds of things that are very interesting. But will, um, will you get pressures when you talk about the food and? Uh, but it's not exciting. It's not exhilarating as okay. as talking about something that matters. Yes. Right, because there's so many people that talk about food. There's so mm -hmm. many video gaming channels. Even though I love doing it, <laughs> yeah. and I would love to get money for doing it. Yeah, okay. show a steam yeah. bomb isn't yeah. that uh, fantastic. Stuff. But when you leave the earth, you want to be, I guess, remembered. Well, yeah, that's want, right. You want to have an impact to the human race. Yeah, you right? want to have an impact, and in order to have an impact, you have to do things that people, other people, are afraid to do. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't do. That would call you crazy for doing. Releasing a video, yeah, I feel some type of pressure every time. If it's a sensitive time, I, I, I feel it. Like when the yeah. when the COVID nineteen happened on my birthday. Okay. When I started releasing videos, I felt a lot of pressure because the government was telling you don't talk don't spread lies, issue. don't yeah. talk <laughs> about this, and right. I'm like, but what I'm saying. To me, it's not a lie. Yeah. It is so. It's to you. It's a matter of perception. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, when I was releasing these videos and then nothing happened, then I pushed the line a little further. Yes. And see, okay. See so if it's okay. Yeah. Correct. Is that okay? And then, is that okay? So now, like, I I guess during this time, maybe certain entities feel that. They're just gonna get criticized, and they just, this is just what it's gonna be. Yeah. You know. So I, actually, I don't know. I mean, but yeah. I'm scared. I, I'm always scared. Somebody yeah, threatened to kill my family so yeah. on Twitter. Yeah, I mean, you know, pressure is so. definitely a thing. But I, I mean, for us, maybe we have all, all, all of us should like overcome it. So but my question to you and to you guys is because you don't have children. The, the problem with me, I have. I, well, yeah. it's not a problem, yeah. but I, I have children, <laughs> yeah. and then you have to balance truth versus your family. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. I feel the same way. Like, yeah. I don't know if about you guys. Do your family know you actually make videos on YouTube? Yeah. My you, family. You know. too? Yeah. Watch and she's like, family. watch what you say, yeah. watch okay. what you write. So originally, I yeah. don't actually tell anybody because. I don't want to them to get worried, you know? Yeah, for myself, I mean, my wife is definitely know that what I'm doing. And my wife is actually stopping me to put negative things or talking about the issue. I don't want to, I don't like to talk. I haven't uh, told my parents about what I'm doing. 
especially the topics, because uh, my dad is definitely a, a conservative. A conservative. Yeah. I don't want to get in trouble with him. Even like I, I did several conversations with him mm -hmm. that I addressed a different opinion about a certain thing. But uh, yeah, as everyone experienced in China, you ended up being like frustrated mm -hmm. for both sides. Yeah, I tried this for several times, then I stopped. Yeah, my my me and my wife is because she believes a lot different than what I believe in certain topics. Yeah, because all and yeah, yeah. there's no use to argue. Yeah, I we I and Simon talk about this kind of like dogma. We we stopped when we was childhood uh, okay. several times. Before. Yeah, I try to convince my family, but you can't change their like ideology no. because they have their also perception yeah. so it's hard for me not only I feel the pressure from the top but also feel the pressure from my family because they also start noticing my YouTube channel then they have totally different ideology against me and I don't want to cause any trouble with them because sometimes when I make videos and post them on YouTube I have really mixed feeling like I'm conflicted like on one side, I really want my video to get more attention, to actually help people to better understand China. But on the other side, I was like, what if my video really went viral? What will then happen Then you're in trouble, me? yeah. Yeah, so I have that mixed yeah. feeling. I know that if my video goes viral, it goes bad viral. So yeah. if I talk about a certain, if I'm talking about a sensitive topic, it's not going to go good viral. And when I say good viral, that means Americans are viewing it and it's going to go crazy. I mean... Somebody's gonna take my video, they're gonna s slice it up and I put some Chinese subtitles. Yeah, and then it's yeah. gonna be wrong because yeah. they don't understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> then they're gonna put it on whatever social media, and then uh, then that's when it begins. That's yeah. when police yeah. are knocking at your door. Go on. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. We have talked too much. Uh, try to put this video underneath probably 15 minutes. But we will keep talking about this topic probably in Mike's channel. So if you want to see more content, then please go to Mike's channel and show some support over Hope there. Hope you guys enjoy our discussion and uh, we deliver some uh, useful or valuable information to you guys. Yeah. And also we have a like wonderful lunch in your channel, right? Like You're going to post it. Of course. <laughs> okay. I like to add the fact that if, if you support what these guys do, uh, subscribe man you know you got mike here subscribe to his channel if you support what he says subscribe you know it's, it's a simple thing a click <laughs> right so yeah, yeah. that's yeah. it yeah. yeah see you guys next time see you next time